Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to this new video. Today is gonna be super quick. We're gonna take a look at how we can better control white balance and color temperature to go from an image that looks like this, which is okay, I would say, to an image that looks like this, which looks way more natural in my opinion. This isn't about color correction in post, it's about controlling the color temperature of our light sources to get a better image directly in camera. So you're probably familiar with the practice of matching the color temperature of a light source with the color temperature of another light source, like for example, a practical used for motivation. So since our practical is a tungsten source, we assume that we should set our key light, which is motivated by the practical, to around 28 to 3200 Kelvin in order to match the tungsten temperature. In the first example that I showed you, I gelled my key light, which is a daylight balance fixture, with a full CTO gel to bring it from daylight color temperature, which is 5600 Kelvin, all the way down to tungsten color temperature, so around 3200 Kelvin. And uh, then I hit record, and uh, this is the result. As you can see, the light that's hitting the subject's face is uh, way cooler than the light that's hitting the couch behind her. And um, so I would say that the two lights, they, they're not quite matching yet. So how can we make sure that the color temperatures of the two lights are actually matching? Uh, we can eyeball it for sure, but I think there's a cheap and faster way to do so, and it's through an app called CavWB. Just so you know, they're not sponsoring this video. I, I bought the app with my own money. I happen to like it, and uh, that's why I'm telling you about it. So this app gives you a reading of the color temperature of a light source, whatever that might be. It can be a key light, it can be a table lamp, it can be a natural source like the sky, the sun, whatever that might be, by bouncing it off of a white surface, like for example, a white piece of paper. And uh, by doing so, you have a good approximation of what the color temperature of a light source really is. Just bear in mind that it's an approximation, it's not an exact reading because for that you would need a, a color meter but that's uh, way more expensive and uh, we want to keep it simple we want to keep it cheap so with the app I measured the color temperature of the table lamp and it was coming in at around 2600 Kelvin and uh, then I measured the key light color temperature and uh, as I suspected it was much cooler coming in at around 3100 Kelvin so in order to compensate for that I added another layer of this time health strength CTO gel on top of the one that I already had and then I measured my key again and this time the two lights were actually matching i mean they were just a few tens of uh, kelvin away from each other but you shouldn't go for an exact match because the readings are not exact in the first place as you can see now the results are way better the image looks way more natural as the uh, color temperature of the key matches the one of our practical it looks like what's lighting uh, our subject is not an additional light that we put there, but it looks like it's coming from the table lamp. And uh, I'm gonna quickly walk you through the lighting setup, which was very simple and it consisted of a key light with a grid on, a practical in the background, a tube light bouncing off the ceiling for some room tone, which was set, I believe, to 2900 Kelvin, so slightly cooler in order to have some color separation, and then some negative fill on the shadow side of the subject to prevent the light from bouncing off the white wall too much. And now you can see the image being lit by the practical only, then the practical plus the uh, room tone, then the practical, the room tone, and the key light all together. So this didn't want to be a look breakdown video. I just wanted to emphasize the importance of uh, knowing the color temperature of the sources that we need to match with our artificial lighting, for example, because um, a tungsten bulb color temperature can be influenced by other factors, like for example, the lampshade, like in our case here today. And we need to be aware of that in order to make our images believable. Another example of uh, where this approach would come in handy, it would be where we are using our artificial lighting to uh, augment the natural light that's coming from a window and um, most of the times we assume that natural daylight has a fixed color temperature of 5600 Kelvin just because on our fixtures we read daylight balance but that's rarely the case because for example a overcast day can range anywhere between 56 and uh, 7500 Kelvin and uh, if we are not aware of that and we don't compensate for that difference in color temperature we're always gonna have images that look a little off so if you like this video please let me know by leaving a thumbs up by commenting subscribing if you have any questions let them in the comments down below I'll be happy to answer you and uh, until next time have a good life.